guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm just gonna give a little update on some of the stuff I did the car today uh, tried to find that exhaust leak I uh, loosened the entire front of the exhaust and moved it around a little bit uh, I don't know if you can see but the air fuel gauge still reading lean when it's idling I can't seem to find an exhaust leak, so I don't know, it might be something else. Uh, it wasn't all a loss, I I did manage to get about a half inch more ground clearance. I don't know if you can see here. Now you see it hangs a little low on the driver's side, well that's because these headers are BBK headers, they weren't designed for this exhaust. But I still managed to get about a half inch or a little more extra ground clearance, which is good. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was get the tailpipes lined up better, but that didn't work out either. Uh, you can see this one here is lined up just about right. This one is over too, too far. It's over too close to the center, but that's the best I could get it. Yeah, I, the only thing I can think of is because these... This exhaust system was designed for a different set of headers. The headers on this car are kind of screwing up the, the alignment of everything. So here's another thing I did today. I took off the, the black grill and cleaned it up underneath. Now, I just wanted to get a look. I just wanted to see what, uh, get an idea what it's going to look like when I get the grill that I ordered. Mind you, it doesn't look like the, I ordered this grill back in April or May and still on back order but uh it's now saying november which probably won't get it in november either but we'll have it before next spring i'm sure i left the black grill off for now i'll probably put it back on but even with all the the holes and stuff i kind of still like the look of this better this gives you an idea of the original uh, designers. I think this is what they had in mind because they got the Camaro embossed right in that plastic. So originally this is what they had in mind, I would say, for for the grill for the Camaro. But then some idiot come along and decide to put that, that stupid looking black piece on that they, they normally have for a grill. This here to me looks a lot better. But like I said, uh, all them holes and stuff in there that hold that black grill kind of ruin it. But I'm just going to leave the grill off for now. This gives me an idea what it's going to look like when I do get my new grill. The new grill is shaped as exactly like that, except it doesn't have the Camaro. It's just smooth there, which I think I'd like better too. Okay guys, now we're inside the car. Uh, I managed to get the one wire for using HP tuners. I don't know if you can see the wire, I got it running. I got everything in behind here, and then I got one wire coming up here. Uh, and that carries both the, the signal from the HP tuners and the wideband. You can see the wideband here is still warming up, so it's not running now. If you remember my original video, I wanted to be able to run it out of the top port of this here, USB, but I can't, I can't get it to work. What you need is a connection. It's a USB, female, female USB on e each end in order to connect the wires from this port to this wire here. And I've tried four different kinds of these and it just will not. It won't work so I'm gonna have to I'm not gonna be able to use that top port like I said I wanted to but I still got just the one wire so that's good I got and when I'm not using it, I just tuck it in under the seat here this this is what I mean by running lean at idle so that should be bounced between uh, 14 6 and 15 6 or 15 8 but instead it's bouncing between uh, 15 and 16 shouldn't be doing that my guess was an, uh, an exhaust leak but I don't know I can't find it so I'm not even gonna worry about it do have one part coming that some people might be interested in I'll just give you a hint there'll be a little switch right here 
that's where I plan to put the switch. I won't tell you what I'm getting, but uh, should be here in another week or two. Anyway, guys, uh, this weekend I'm going to try tuning the mass air meter that I've got all ported out. And uh, anyway, guys, we'll uh, hope you enjoy the video, and we'll catch you in the next one.